Hello, welcome to Dr. R.S. channel. Today I'm going to talk about what is osteoporosis. Actually, osteoporosis means when the mass of the bone or bone density is not normal or it is not, the substance of the bone is not good enough uh, for our, our body. So what happened? What happened to our bone? So this is a normal bone. You see that all pack, it's like a well-knitted bone. It's like all compact. It's, you see there is not even, there's no, no holes in it. It's like all dense. So if we are not taking care of our bones in a proper way, what happens? This, is, this can lead to this. You see that now there are big holes in it. Outside it looks all right. Outside is fine. At this time, there are only holes. We are not losing height at this point because we still are maintaining, uh, maintaining the outer structure, but inside we are seeing big holes because the density is now less. Um, density is now this, not the same as hair. So what happened? If we don't protect hair, if we don't take care of the bones here, what is going to happen next? Next is our this. Now what happened, there are more big holes uh, in our, it's now, look at this big holes, and now the vertebras are so weak, inside is hollow, inside it's so hollow that the bones are now compressed on each other. Uh, they are like one, one vertebra is so hollow inside, it's going to sit on the other one, and then it's going to sit on the other one, it's going to sit on the other one. So we call these as compression fractures. So they are, they are compressing our actually backbone and we are losing height. That's where we are losing height. So that's where I will tell everyone that watch your height. That may be a simple way to test that your density of the bone is not the same as it was when you were 30 years old or 40 years old. So how you can do it, you can go to the doctor get the bone scan done, that's very, testing is very important. Simple test is measure the height, but the real test is have a bone density, which is known as DEXA scan. So this is, this is, this is the bones, they become slimmer and slimmer. Also, we will get a lot of uh, um, uh, hip fractures because our, hip, our, our hips are not the same. It doesn't have the good density, so it's hollow inside. So little fall, little fall can give a fracture, very little fall. So uh, our, our lower legs or the hips, so because we don't have the strong bones, we can get easily fractured. So how to prevent it before even we go to the medication, how to prevent it? So number one is the diet. So diet, we all know about calcium and vitamin, calcium, vitamin D, calcium and vitamin, but we don't pay attention to the other because bone is made of other things, protein, uh, phosphorus, cobalt, magnesium. Uh, they, they need all these things. So balanced diet, I would say balanced diet, diet is important. Balanced diet in which we need to have protein, we need to have a little bit of carbohydrate, there were fat, we all need this. So I would suggest if you add at least two organic eggs in your diet, one glass of milk, some cheese, that will be really good. Good uh, dates, I have a lot of minerals, so you can add dates in it. Uh, egg is a full meal. Actually, it has vitamins, it has minerals, it has protein, it has a little bit of carbohydrate. So it's a very good thing to add to your diet. If you're allergic to egg, uh, then other, other things are available. Milk, almond milk, uh, almonds uh, are very important. Exercise is extremely important. So we can do uh, simple walking. If you don't want to have a big exercise, just simple walking, which I do. I don't do any heavy exercise. I'll just do simple walking. Uh, sunlight is extremely important. If you get to sunlight, uh, which uh, we don't get much in Buffalo, but if you can get to sunlight, that will be the natural way of getting vitamin D. That's extremely important. Vitamin K is extremely important for that. And for women, uh, hormones. 
and when we reach to the menopausal we l start losing our hormones estrogen so you need to talk to the doctor to get the hormones lot of we need to have berries in our diet so that will help that help me actually blueberries strawberries um, almonds they are really good to keep our bone healthy um, so I think then come to the medication if we are here we need medications and diet obviously if we are definitely here we need really medication is we need to have medication at certain point which can help our bone because we 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 have uh, we have bone builders in cells in our body and bone eaters which are bone which we know we call it osteoblast bone builder osteoclast bone eater so we have to um, have them in a in a certain you know we have to have a check on them so we for medication we need to have medication at a certain point which can help our bones so talk to your doctor there are some medication which only is once a year injection maybe that might be an answer for you but you need if you are at this stage you need help because osteoporosis can be a very disabling disease uh, it is very simple and it's very easy to not to have this disease or prevent this disease it's in our uh, we can prevent it so it's not like we have in our genetics uh, so let's let's focus on osteoporosis how we can uh, we can work on it how we can prevent it how we can slow the progress uh, with medication with the diet with exercise um, I hope this is helpful thank you for watching